This is a test shot. <laughs> it's even worse because like I have, I actually have the booger finger. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jordan. I'm a licensed yoga instructor and massage therapist. And it's clearly been a while since I've done this. <laughs> um, hi. I have, oh God, hold on. It's been a year <laughs> and leave it to me just to like get really into something and start something and then have like one kind of crisis and just completely fall off. And I don't want to be like a jerk to myself, but do the bare minimum. But yeah, I I I'm back. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I swear I'm okay. Um, I cannot believe we have, we, we have as a collective, I've done nothing. <laughs> I can't believe there's a hundred subscribers on this channel. We're like 130 and like, I've done nothing. Um, which on a happy note is really cool because over the past year I've been gone. I'm sorry guys, my face is like really itchy. It's, there's dog hair everywhere. It's just been crazy because... Like I've gotten so many messages over the past year of like people watching my massage therapy videos and like specifically asking me about ECPI and I don't know it's like cool to feel like I haven't been doing anything but like that these things like my videos can just like exist and be a resource for people. So what has been going on? It's funny because I thought I was ready to make this video when like I had just processed truly everything that has gone on in my life and over the past year, like last week. <laughs> but I know I'm not the only one who, in some variation of a spectrum feels that way. Um, I guess we could just start off here. I didn't really want to like start off this really great video <laughs> of me coming back to YouTube with like some really like heavy stuff. But I like just realized how traumatic a global pandemic is. I don't even know if I could say the word pandemic on YouTube, but I'm just gonna say it anyways. Like, how insane is all of this? Like, I, I was about to go on a long tangent, but long story short, if you want to hear more about it, just let me know. But I like just had this like, huge epiphany, like, as we started to come out of the pandemic and like kind of truly saw it as like an outside thing. Like, and just looking at it from an outsider's view, I was like, holy cow, man. Like, and there was a lot of grief of like things that weren't tangible for me and a lot of change. As you can see, I'm in a completely different area. Like, wow, I'm just like sitting here talking. Yes, I moved again. <laughs> but luckily this is the last time for the next two years we are hoping to every deity <laughs> that exists in every realm. Cause oh my gosh. <sighs> but yes, that's where I've been at. <laughs> Another huge thing I had to process, like one minute I was teaching yoga and like really kind of expanding in that aspect of my life and field as a teacher and coming into massage therapy and it was new and exciting. But long story short, like one minute I was doing that and then the next minute, like I'm not working at all. And then I'm going back to massage therapy. Within the first month of being back, I get promoted to become a lead therapist and I have to like work full time to apply to be a lead therapist and we really needed one because we only had one. So I'm like working full time as a massage therapist. I'm like having all these other duties, which has been like a really cool experience, but like I just woke up and it was just like that. It felt like, <laughs> like there was also higher pay and not teaching yoga. Like I had to like compensate for that and moving like D and I not living together. It was just, guys <laughs> like I'm good it could be so much worse like I was blessed to have a job blessed to have like people who supported me blessed to have a home kind of two homes because like D and I ha are still together obviously because I live here now it's been such a crazy like ride and I did not realize how I've been skirting along the surface just trying to maintain and like not project like all these feelings you know I was just all over the place and stressed and like already trying not to project onto others and like cope with that and like 
not allow myself to like be in that constant state because that's like not healthy for me or like my heart like physically either i think we all can relate to like this like fight or flight like survival thing because in some shape or form we all were like like right like kind of just having to change like it's like a physical like a not physical like a self change but like this whole like the way we navigate the world completely changed and how we interact with people which is another like can of worms here's the thing too is that i'm one of those people where like and so many signs point to this like i'm really into astrology it's written all over my birth chart i have been alive for 25 years now also turned 25 and i know this about myself like i thrive off of change right and even this was too much for me. <laughs> like this hurt so badly. I can't imagine people who thrive off of consistency and are really sure of themselves and know who they are and what they're doing because <laughs> holy shit, like it's just been crazy. On a lighter topic, um, I am really enjoying the massage therapy field. Um, like I said, being in this lead position has been really hard, but I've learned so much and it's been really, really cool and amazing and i would love to make another video on that so like this video if you like want to hear about like how much i make as a massage therapist like how much i was able to like climb in like the we call them tiers after you know and how i kind of did that i mean i feel like you know let me let me <laughs> okay women don't go for positions fun fact women's do <laughs> women do not women's the women's do not go for higher positions because like for some reason women feel like they're like less qualified so i did earn this and i would love to tell you guys about it this is me trying to gain my confidence back the pandemic really just like you know just punch and just took it away from me <laughs> um let's take a stretch break can we all just like take a second to take a stretch break and breathe <sighs> that's another big thing is like I just sort of started getting back into yoga like for my own practice because I really guys when I say I was skirting I like wasn't practicing yoga honestly was watching a lot of anime and playing a lot of Animal Crossing <laughs> but you know we all cope differently right <laughs> right let my hair go it's like I'm a washed up mermaid <laughs> ah. <laughs> that was a great centering moment Anyways, I said I've been really watching anime, I've been playing a lot of video games, uh, plants, guys, I've been really into plants. Uh, this is just classic me, like getting, throwing myself into everything like violently and just trying to become a master in like five freaking seconds. Not on this wave of like trying to save plants, like I adopted like three of my aunt's sick plants and I always get, got like the cheap ones from Walmart, but I just like looked at them and I was like, oh my god, I love you. Beginner planter to be get our planter here i'm gonna meet me, meet me down here um don't 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 be a hero <laughs> don't don't be a hero because it's just it's stressful they always die and my gosh dude like trying to save a dying plant like like who am i like i'm not god you know like i can't i am a be i am a beginner plant mom <laughs> but yeah it's been really cool i've been playing with a lot of plants i one thing that's actually been kind of consistent over the past year is journaling i've been journaling a lot look back on what i've been doing i just it's just a lot of anime like like as you can see i got my cool one piece shirt that i found recently at the mall like, like things that basically were on cartoon network in like the early 2000s like one piece and like naruto um you know all those animes like those were the ones I watched as a kid, Dragon Ball Z. But that was kind of it. Actually, Sailor Moon was the first anime I ever owned. I was like five years old and I had like the Sailor Moon movie. It was really, she was my hero. <laughs> Anyways, I've been watching, we've been watching a bunch of them. Um, I really love A Kame Got Kill. It's one of my favorite ones. Um, Rooftop Assassins. Uh, Black Butler I really weirdly liked. I think I did, I'm just a slut for a good plot. There's the um, Promise to Neverland. That one was insane. I haven't seen the second season yet. So I... If you if you watch anime, just like give me a sec, okay? I know it's going to be garbage, but I want to watch it anyways. Demon Slayer, obviously, freaking obsessed. So, like I've just been watching a lot of anime. Like I have just been so on like this really weird self journey wave, like really having the time to like get into things I've been like feeling like I never had the time to do because I was so busy like being in my young twenties and like building my career and like the next thing I know, like last week I turned twenty five and I'm just like. 
I got, I'm on my own health insurance this year. Not that I needed to be, but it was just like cheaper for me to get it through my work. Cause I have like benefits like that now. <laughs> like it's just crazy to go from like a baby, like it with a baby <laughs> to like straight up like functioning adult <laughs> as I wear my, my cartoon shirt. But it's just really cool to like come into yourself and to like have like, to be like so stable in other aspects of your life that you can like splurge on like weird things like anime. Even when everything's falling apart. Like, oh, I haven't thought about it like that. Like, that's really true. I've just been able to, like, delve into, like, weird things that, like, and things I never thought I could do. Growing up, my mom always, like, she tried to have plants and she would always kill them, right? And, like, that was kind of her mantra. It was like, oh, like, don't give me any plants. I'll, like, I'll kill it. Like, uh, like, give me a healthy plant. Like, I will literally find a way to kill it by doing nothing. And so weirdly, I just, for some reason, like adopted that narrative for myself. But then my boyfriend's um, cousin, who's my friend, Kendra, she was like, don't be like that. Like, just like, you know, you're, you are going to kill shit and like, that's okay. But like, just go for it. And, you know, if you like it, then like stick to it. But like, you have to try new things, dude. And I'm like, you're so right. Like, what a weird thing. Fell in love with that. Like, was able to really delve in on anime and like play Animal Crossing. Like, I got a Switch for my birthday last year. So I've been just like binging on that. Like I'm about to make a whole new island. Like I, my island is almost done. I'm just a huge nerd when it comes to games and I like to finish it to its entirety. Like if there's any challenges, accomplishments that need to be done, like in um, Zelda or like, um, like Spyro is a great example too. I was just playing that on the GameCube over quarantine. Um, like I like to get like, I like to finish every single challenge. Spirit Bear is another one. But once I get all my museum finished, like, I'm gonna make a new island. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, so leisure time, enjoying life and experimenting with new things has been really cool. But with that being said, I had to like grieve a lot. Like I haven't started teaching yoga again. I really want to, but at the same time, I just feel like not even like I'm disconnected. I still know how to go about it. Like I don't know where I would go now. Like it's been a year. Like so many things have like changed. Just I don't. I don't know. I think that's all I wanted to cover in this. But I just, I'm so violent with rambling and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> it's so hard to encompass a year in like not an hour, especially for me. I have so many thoughts and I, and feelings <laughs> that it's, I, I can't, in so many phases, I'm a lot better. And I'm hoping that like the world is getting better and <laughs> yeah, dude, oh my gosh, I'm like running out of breath. I haven't talked like this in so long. <laughs> like this video um if you guys want to hear me talk about like how much i make as a massage therapist i have a yoga video i'll put it somewhere on the screen that like or link it below just like look around <laughs> look around me in the proximity of my box and you can go check that out and like i said like the video and i'll make one about massage therapy um thanks so much for watching guys and thank you so much for watching while i've been away again i thank you just so much appreciation i just like Hopefully I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye. Oh, God, my hips.